Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Um, I think we on part three, I believe, where we talk about Nene and her comings and goings towards Andy Cohen. Now we know she said Andy Cohen was a racist. He put up with race, racial profiling and uh, racial employees doing things to um the minority of the brown people uh you said that he allegedly did coke okay he was a cokehead you said he was a racist you and you just said a lot of stuff didn't you? and shout out to um michelle brown over at the at alien go over there and check her out now you know she's friends with nene and she can see nene do no wrong and you know you can love on whoever you want to love on when it comes to these reality stars but for the most part she's a pretty good person so go uh watch her channel and tell her i sent you over there and all that good stuff but getting back to nene nene likes the hollywood life she has come to be accustomed to the social elite and she likes surrounding herself around powerful people okay but she's been a little messy she's been a little messy okay she helped with those young ladies and others helped uh them through to throw uh andy Cohen a baby shower when he was expecting his son okay she was there doing her due diligence um Promoting him, praising him, being in his corner, trying to be his best buddy, you know. And I'm like, how many times did you go on Watch What Happens Live? Okay, starring Andy Cohen. How many times did you grace his show? But now you want us to believe that all those different seasons you were on the show. The times that you were asked to come to the clubhouse on Watch What Happens Live and its platform and give your perspectives on different things. And of course, he was interviewing you, trying to showcase you and see if you were doing other things. So he was giving you actually his platform for you to promote on other than just being on the show and he's being the guest host. Okay? But you're blaming him a lot. And I'm like, Nene, would you ever... If you weren't a part of the reality scene, would you would have been promoting uh, the gays, the LGBT community? Somehow, I don't think you would have, okay? <sighs> but that's just me, you know. Birds of a feather flock together, you know. If she's over there uh, being with a man who's gay, who's openly telling everybody he's gay, and you want to get further up that totem pole, you had to like some things that you probably wouldn't have liked before that opportunity was given to you, meaning to be a part of a celebrity tourship and mix and mingle with the who's who in Hollywood. So you traded everything and what you felt about everything when it came to gay pride, the pride parade, the lesbians, the gays, the transvestites, uh, trans women, men, or whatever. Which you would have been supporting their cause. I don't think so, Nene. I don't think so. Okay, but now you're just throwing caution to the wind. You're calling Andy Cohen out, defaming him. Saying he said this, that, and third, and he promoted. Or at least he didn't do anything to stop it. You know, racial profiling on the job. And I'm like, seems like you and Marlo are not in good friendships anymore. Because I don't see you on her page. You don't have her on your page. And I'm like, what is going on? Tell me. I want to know. I want to know. But you were supporting the gay community. You were being outspoken. This, that, and the third. Now we don't see anything from you. And if we do see anything from you, you're trying to make this man look stupid, crazy, tear him down, 
Because I'm like, if any of the, and I'm saying none of the stuff you had gotten, uh, uh, had to put up with, that it's not true. Because, hey, your truth is your truth. I can't take it away from you, and I can't put it in you. Whatever you experienced, you experienced it. But I just find it very odd that a man that you were sitting up there praising, you and there were countless times you had been on his show, his platform. Now, anybody that's going to make me feel lesser than, I'm going to be privy of knowing how he really feel about people that look like me. You think I'm going to support him in social media, the social media outlet? Do you think I'm going to be following him on any of his platforms? Do you think I will be working for a company that outright diss me and my culture and my race? And I didn't stand up for it and do the right thing while you were experiencing it, Nene? Because you were condoning it yourself. And even when you said Kim was making, you know, racial comments at this and third, you didn't go and try to resolve the issue or try to ask why she felt that way and what could y'all both do to smooth the um, hate down and come to understand one another. Because everybody and every race gets stereotyped somehow. Like they say uh, black folks can dance. Not all black folks can dance. I can't dance. I can do a nice two-step, okay, and a nice twirl. But that's pretty much it. I'm challenged in that aspect. They say Asian people are good with commu uh, computers and technology. That's not true. I know some Asian people. Some of them just don't know where you can hit the delete button, the escape button, or alt tab delete. It clears your screen and shut up. They don't know that. Only a certain few. Or, you know, what do you call it? Handicap in that situation. Where they're dummies. So... To say, uh, you know, that he's this, he's that, when you definitely been up there loving his dirty draws and loving on him, throwing and assisting uh, a baby shower preparation for him. Because you even said it, you know, on your social media feed, how you basically single-handedly were de doing most of the preparations for his first baby shower. That was you. Now you want to take everybody to court. He's this bad entity now. That you just cannot stand. He and others are following you. Or destroying your credibility in the industry. Where nobody wants to work with you. Uh, but you're doing all these other things that coincide. Making it very hard for the layman's person such as myself. To believe that you even went through any hardship. Any mental distress working for this company, uh, Bravo, True Entertainment, Truly Original, NBC Universal, the people I just named, you're suing them now. And I'm like, why is it that you're suing them now? Is it because you are not on the show anymore? That money that usually come in every two weeks or monthly or however y'all were getting paid, one lump sum? And then y'all take the rest and then y'all hope to get another season with the show for an acceptance letter back. When all that stuff dried up for you, there were no more calls being answered. You couldn't even get your team to get people to answer and giving you work. Then you're going to come out with all this black listed black ball this that and the third and comparing yourself to monique the comedian and actress was just not a good look because you're not on her level you're not on her level nene okay but you thought you were the it factor and they let you thought you was the it factor as long as it was good for them and serving their purpose and the ratings were going up. They let you made a fool out yourself thinking you was the HPIC and you made uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta 
uh, what it is today. No, you had a hand in it by driving the ratings up, by cooning, by sitting up here acting like a damn fool. Uh, instead of showing and proving that, you know, you're an educated woman, you do business, you be in big business deals, and showing us that. None of that transpired the whole time you were on the show. Only thing you were known for was starting shit, pretty much. Starting shit. And trying to be the one who ends the shit, okay? So, I'm like, I, I'm not even understanding where you're coming with all of this. Because most people that tolerate stuff, they do it because they have no other talents or they don't feel greater than. So, they sit and suffer in silence. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people still do that to this day. But, you were very vocal about you being the highest paid on Real Housewives of Atlanta. How you were getting so many opportunities by being a part of this platform you know going up to uh los angeles california being uh into shows hosting at dance this that and the third and everything was good and gravy you know groovy because you thought you were the it factor but when they got tired of you complaining about this that and the third but you were still serving up that paycheck that they were giving you Okay, and the perks that came along with that, you still were in recipient of those rewards. So, it really doesn't beg to differ that we can be with you on the issue, but it's just how you presented yourself and how it solely seems it's beneficial to only you and serving you and not the greater good. But again, like I said, you ate this man up. During the years, you said you had bad timing. You had bad times working in a toxic environment. Things are being swept under the rug that needed to have been brought to the forefront. So every playing field was level for every race, every color, every creed. You know, but you didn't do that. Many. So <laughs> I'm just going to call bullshit on all of it. Because that's where you've gotten it to this point. You want to act a fool in society and reality. You want to act a fool on this show. And you want to act a fool with the higher ups. And where has it gotten you thus far? Nowhere. No job. No possible outlets of attaining jobs in the industry. So your last hurrah... You had to say, well, I'm going to sue you. But you had to find an attorney. An attorney that was a self, the assignment. Now, I don't know if you got a lawyer like Tasha K had. I'll go whoever it is. Don't know. But evidently, you had to pay them. I'm pretty sure it's not one of those uh, accidental type lawyers that is defending you. Meaning, you don't get paid unless they get paid. No, nah, you're probably paying them out front and whether they win or lose your case they still gonna get paid so that's all i got for this video guys y'all like it love it, gotta have more but nini just keep on digging the grave she almost got a six feet she almost got a six feet hmm but it's very interesting how she wants to call broke mouth play broke mouth play um uh, um uh, file or say everything's filed with her recently um previous employer now everything is about what they didn't do what they should have did should have could have would have type of stance nini is taking but she's not in here in atlanta she's traveling okay i don't know if her lawyer or lawyer or her team told her just leave the city the state for a few months and then come back when we're ready to get things started, meaning a court trial, or we just need to settle. Okay? Those are the things that are being discussed at this point. Now, do I think she can win? Hell no. Do I think some of this stuff happened or all of the stuff happened? Yeah. But where I find fault at is when Nene didn't handle it, when she was still on good terms with the company there was nothing being like 
they didn't like her behavior and this that, and the third because they still liked it, her they were still trying to put her out there but she was fussing with the cast members so much she was fussing with production as we know whether she and she tried to hide that but we clearly could see it because one cameraman caught this shit she was battling with the producer trying to keep the man out of her closet which he shouldn't have been in there anyway but she attacked the man and bust out the man's teeth okay child nene don't probably done a lot of unscrupulous stuff behind the scenes and when she became too much of a drama queen too much of a diva status they had to knock her down by a few pigs that's why they told her look here lady you can keep saying whatever you're gonna say but we're gonna offer you this friend contract or you know you take it leave it however you want to see it but we're pretty much downsizing and we're pretty much going to do it not just on real housewives of atlanta but we're going to go through the whole franchise everybody that's been here for a set amount of time they got to go we got to keep their uh paycheck in half because we're you know we need to get some new talent up in here you served us well we served you well by giving you money or what we thought you were bringing in it was a mutual uh agreement contractual agreement all in writing but now we don't feel the same way that's why they ask you know that you still uphold your duty in not talking bad about the company while they renew your contract for the following year and they said the big people get down and they talk they look at the press what people are saying how the ratings were on each individual on the show and when they feel they don't had enough or you more of a problem than them than an asset they start thinking legally looking at all aspects if she don't like this what could she do to us as a company you don't think they really sought this thing out and thought this thing out in any chaplain you're canceled in their book and you probably if there is a thing about being blackballed yeah you have been taken out denounced rebuked from the hollywood scene you're not going to be a part of the elite roster anymore you're going to be back like a layman's person on the outside looking in but you brought this on yourself a lot of things we can't control like discrimination and racism we cannot control that uh, we can, but we don't want to. We are a thumb down society where we like status quo. So we don't want to grow past that point. We don't want to be showing and improving. We still like that privileged life where one race is being privileged, uh, privy to certain things while others lack. Just like you always have a class of society, the poor and the rich. We have the poor, we have the middle class, and we have the rich. We don't even have the middle class anymore. If you're not wealthy, meaning in your million dollar status, then you're poor. Okay, this is how it is right now. There is no middle ground. There's no middle section. You either have or you have not. You're either poor or you're rich. Depending on how you define your success, will define, will define how you fit on that spectrum. I just, you know, gave y'all an example of. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like and love, we gotta have more. And you know I will be back. <laughs> I will be back with another hitter. Okay. Because Nene has given me too much commentary to talk about. To have a discussion about with my YouTube family. Okay, this woman done lost her mind. She think the black people going to embrace her. How she running around here acting. Child please. If she were running for election. Wouldn't nobody vote for her. We, you just wouldn't the majority would not vote for her because they're looking at her character they're looking at how she acts on an individual basis not just being in, on tv but being out here in atlanta georgia moving and shaking with the normal folks okay and i'm like honey be like michael jackson be incognito don't even make yourself look like nini look like somebody totally different and then you can have your freedom where nobody's going to come up to you nobody's going to acknowledge who you are because you're going to be in camouflage you know what i'm saying but when you come out you support that's a part of you being a celebrity that's a part of you being a star your life is not your life anymore when you set foot out that door get with it you make too much money your profile at a higher status than normal people then that's what you do get you can make the face all you want to but you wanted that life okay
You wanted that fishbowl life, and that's what it's given right now. But right now, you're running around the globe trying to beat time, trying to not have anybody notice you or know of you. Because you know the people in France, they don't give a shit. They, don't, they really don't care who you are. And they probably don't know who you are, really. They don't. Just like nobody knew who Oprah was in Switzerland, but we, we got to know. They they knew who Oprah was. Somebody in that staff that wouldn't let her in, that wouldn't let her shop, that was being discriminatory toward her. You remember that, Nene? And we know you are not in the league of being up there with the Oprah. Okay? But I'm just saying, this is what it is. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.